Hi hi everyone, my name is Arthur. I'm SAP expert from over 16 years. Some of you may already know me from my previous SAP courses or from SAP videos. This time I want to tell you about data in SAP. So let's start. Master data and transaction data. This time I want to tell you about data in SAP. It can be said that data in SAP are usually objects, such as material, customer, vendor, but we also have documents which are objects also, like quotation, sales order and invoice. Each of these objects has its own unique number or unique technical name, so it is easy to identify. For example, we can have material red underscore flower underscore one. We can have customer number 14201. We can have vendor 15. We can have quotation document 998111, sales order 4976, or invoice 1123217. You've probably bought something in McDonald's more than once. After placing the order, you get such paper. This is the invoice. We can call it bill, check or receipt as well. We have the order number here. It is unique. Imagine how many such orders are placed in one restaurant, let alone in all McDonald's in the country. Thousands. The numbers must be unique or the accounting would be confused. Please notice that this document has restaurant number or McDonald's number 1480151. This is object which we use in the document object and we have unique number of just this McDonald's. And in items we have materials. These materials are objects with unique name as well. For example, we have Mac Chicken, Mac Fizz Blue Passion, and we have Chicken Fillet. Of course, we can have another material like Mac Chicken Royale or something, but Mac Chicken is Mac Chicken. This is unique number of this material object. These objects are divided into two categories. The first category is master data. The second is transaction data. Master data represent the things, people and places the organization deals with. The transaction data, on the other hand, represents an event which the master data participates. What do I mean by event? Event means that something happened on the system. For example, a company has sold an item, like buying a food in McDonald's. A customer has paid. An item has been released from stock. The item has been shipped. Each event in the SAP system is registered, usually in the form of a document. For example, a company has sold an item. We have sales order document. A customer has paid. We have invoice or billing document. An item has been released from stock. We have one of material movement document like goods issue or goods receipt. The item has been shipped we have shipment document. Therefore, the SAP system has comprehensive knowledge of what is happening in our business. Let's go back to our objects. Where would they be assigned? So, we have master data. 
material will be assigned to master data that is thing customer vendor employee people and we have transaction data for example quotation sales order invoice goods issue goods receipt thousands of such documents are generated every day because a lot of events happen on the system every day now we can come back to our check from mcdonald or invoice from mcdonald and we can easily recognize where are transaction data and where are master data let's come back to our florist and imagine that he is selling his product a flower material employee and customer are master data we have created them on the system and we use them in our daily work sales order billing payment are transaction data every time something happens on the system a document is created in other words each time an event occurs on the system a document is created we can compare master data to nouns and transaction data to verbs one describes a person place or thing and the other describes an action or event that those nouns participate in another difference is how often these data are changing and how often are created master data are created much less frequently and are modified less frequently for example if we create a material object red rose that represent our first flower that we started trading our material object technical name is red underscore rose underscore one and this object holds basic information about the product like description color size unit of measure we use that object in many events so many documents many times a red rose is still the same red rose we keep selling the same flower master data is data that remains unchanged over a period of time we don't have such a need to change it of course maybe if we'll decide to sell pink rows we have to create new material object pink underscore rows underscore one but normally we don't change master data quite often we don't change master data on daily basis the situation is completely different with transaction data transaction data are business documents which are created using master data like sales order invoice we have seen one example from mcdonald so transaction data are related to the day-to-day -day transactions so it's normal to create a lot of them transaction data are not so constant and can be changed quite often for example status of sales order can be changed several times during selling process that was not so easy chapter i hope you understand now difference between master data and transaction data if you like to take your career to the next level and get to know sap system and you like the way i teach I would like to recommend you my online course SAP for beginners. That's the only course you need to start your adventure with SAP. Check the link in description and give yourself a chance. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please write in the comment below why you are interested just in SAP.